Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the Dynamic Island on iPhones. Now you probably know that the Dynamic Island is actually very useful, especially if you know how to use it and know what things you can actually do with the Dynamic Island. So in today's video, I will show you guys some really useful ways that you can use the Dynamic Island on your iPhone. Now we're talking here about, of course, features of the Dynamic Island, but also we have some really, really useful apps that you can actually add to the dynamic island and make it way more useful. Now, first of all, we're starting with some of the features that you can already find on your iPhone with the dynamic island without having, of course, to install any third party apps. And one of them will be the downloads. Now, recently, like last year, I believe Apple has added this feature to the dynamic island where you can now track the downloads that you have going on with Safari. So right there, you can see on the dynamic island, I have that little basically icon right there of the Safari download. And then we also have the, pro the progress bar right there, which also shows the progress of the download file that is happening in the background. Now, anytime we can just go ahead and expand that and of course it will show the name of the download and also we see that little circle which shows the progress of the download and what you can also do is cancel the download directly from here now also recently apple has added another cool new feature which is the ability to now see the timers on your dynamic island. So whenever you start a timer, now you will have it on the dynamic island. And you can see how good it looks right there. It shows you basically that timer icon. And then here it shows you the timer in minutes and seconds. Of course, anytime you can go ahead and expand this. And once you do that, you will have a pause button where you can pause your timer, but also a cancel button where you can completely cancel your timer. Now there will be another new way for you to use the dynamic island starting early next week with the release of iOS 26.2. Now if you're watching this video later on, you probably already have that feature on your device with iOS 26.2. So Apple has added, as you probably know, a new feature to reminders. We can basically add alarms to your reminders. Now, what's really cool is that that feature will also utilize the dynamic island by allowing you to have your reminder on the dynamic island if you snooze it using this new alarm feature. So once you basically tap the snooze button, you will get rid of the reminder, but it will keep it on the dynamic island. So you see that basically you see your reminder all the time there, so you don't forget about it. So let's just wait for it right here and I will show you guys how it actually works. So right here, as you can see, we can slide the stop. And in this case, it will place it on the dynamic island so as you can see right here, it shows, as you can see, 14 minutes and 14 seconds ago, actually it shows the seconds from since when you have actually stopped this alarm for the reminder. And then you will have that little icon right there. And if you expand, it will show you right here the name of your reminder and also the time that it has passed. So it's actually super useful. Next up, let's talk about some apps that you can add right now to your device that are actually super cool and will add some really useful features to the dynamic island on your device. This one is called Widget Flow and right here on the middle, it will have the dynamic island section. Now, what you can do with this app is that you can add anything you want to the dynamic island. So you will have here a few different options. So you can have the weather and you can see you can have the calendar, the day, you will have the these like gauges for the week, for the month, and you will also have here the month and linear, and then you can swipe like this and you will have these amazing widgets that you can add to your dynamic island. So if you choose one of them, it will show right there. Now, when we get out of the app, we will have that on the dynamic island. So as you can see right here, if I just expand it, I will have this amazing widget on the dynamic island, which shows me a ton of information for my device. Right here, we have the storage, and then we have 
basically the state of my connectivity, the Bluetooth, the seller and the Wi-Fi as well. And then we have also some kind of information right there about the device. And we have other things like the calendar. You can choose your photos right there. You can have the weather forecast on your dynamic island as well as apps that you can launch directly from there. Talking about launching apps, Lock Launcher allows us to pick any app you want or even any setting of your device and just launch it from the dynamic island. So here's what you need to do. From this page right here where it says favorites, you tap here. You can go ahead and choose an action. You can add Apple apps. You can have system toggles there, system settings, anything you want. So right here, you can see I have four apps that I've chosen. Now I can go to the settings right here, go to live activities, dynamic island, switch this on. And now I have that right there on the dynamic island. So as you can see, currently it will show you the current date, but when you expand it, it will have the apps that you have chosen. And of course you will be able to actually go ahead and open any of these apps directly from here. Live Lyrics is up next. And as you probably can tell by the name, it will show you Live Lyrics directly on the dynamic island. So all you have to do is of course connect it to Spotify or Apple Music, whichever one you use, and then turn on the live activity feature. And once you have a song playing, you can just get out of the app. And then from here, you can view the lyrics of that song directly from the dynamic island. It will also work with widgets, of course. So if you want to add widgets to the home screen, you can do that. But having the lyrics right there on the dynamic island is actually pretty awesome. They are taking a few seconds here to load, but once they load, they should be right there. And of course, give you the ability to just go ahead and learn about the lyrics of any song you want directly from the dynamic island of your device, which is actually super cool. Now, this would be a really good feature if it would be available on Apple Music as well. It would actually be awesome. And as you can see right now, it has loaded the lyrics and this is how they will look once they're loading and showing live on the dynamic island of your device. Next up is control bar. Now this one will add a ton of different controls for your music and your media on your dynamic island. Now with the Apple Music features on the dynamic island, you can move between songs or play and pause. But with this app, if you tap right there, you can go ahead and select any of these options and you will have actually a ton of controls. So if we get out of here, you can see we have a bunch of controls. I can go shuffle, I can basically turn up or down the volume from here. I can move on the song backwards and forwards. It actually has a ton of different controls that you can finally add to your dynamic island. And last but not least is Dynamic X. Now Dynamic X will display some really useful information on the on the dynamic island of your device. So this is the app. You tap the plus button right here. You can choose between different widgets that you can add. As you can see right here, we have a bunch of them. Some are premium, some will be free that you can actually use. And once you have done that, you can save these and basically start them from here. Once you start them, you can see I have this monitoring like widget that will show me the traffic of my device, Wi-Fi and seller and display it right there on real time. So that's basically for this video, guys. These are eight amazing ways to use the dynamic island on your iPhone on the new iOS 26. If you want to get these apps that I showed you guys, make sure to check the pinned comment. You will have all the links there. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.